Who am I? This is a question that seems like it should be really easy to answer. Maybe it's a sign of our times, maybe it's just the human condition, but a lot of people don't have a good answer for that today, and that's really a disconcerting thing. And when we do go about addressing that particular question, well, we tend to hang our hat on a lot of incidental stuff that quite honestly just doesn't matter. I mean, sure, I can define myself based on the things that I do, the ideas that I hold, the characteristics of my physical self, but what about those things lasts or endures? Because the fact of the matter is, all of those things can be taken away from me. I will die someday, and this flesh that I have will rot away and be nothing. I might become injured, no longer have the abilities that I have, or just grow old. I might change my interests, something that I took for granted about my person, some idea that I hold that I define myself by conservative or liberal, uh, American or some other nationality. Well, that might change. I could move. I could go somewhere else. I might change my mind. At the end of the day, all the things that we build our identities on fail. They're things that come and go. They're things that do not last. But for us Christians, this should not be a problem. The reason for this is, is that our identity is built on Christ. You see, we have a God who made us, a God who created us from nothing, who breathed life into us. We have a God who fashioned us together in the womb, a God who has known us since the very moment of our creation. And more than that, this God has sent his Son into the world to redeem us. This God has shed his blood, laid down his life, and ensured that we have salvation. This means something very important. You see, there are two things that are always true about who we are, no matter what else we can say about ourselves. We are made by God. And that means that we always have a value and a purpose here, even if we can't always see it. And we are redeemed by God. The blood of Christ has been shed for us, for you and for me. The blood of Christ covers up our sins. And because of that, two things will always be true about who we are. Firstly, that we are made by God. And secondly, that we are redeemed by Him. And being redeemed by God is no small thing. Because no longer are we mere creatures of God. No longer is our identity before God the Father sinner, condemned, or worthy of destruction. No, now we are saved. And that means that we are no longer in those categories. We are now something very special. We have been redeemed in Christ. And because we are redeemed, we have been adopted. And adopted not just to be children of God, but sons. Sons and heirs of the promise. And the reason that the scriptures call us sons, well... It's because that's who inherits the property. Because Christ has died, we have been given life and salvation. And no matter what else may be taken away from us, we can never have those things taken away because they are insured by God himself.